Hey, how's your day? Well, Topaz Labs 40AI just got a major update today, 2.4.0. I've been using the beta, uh, what is it, 2.4.3 for a little bit, and I've been digging it and I've been waiting for this to come out. We have all kinds of things in this new version. First, there's a new workflow and a new look. I love this. The way you can pick and choose what you want and in what order. So if you only want to do one thing, denoise, maybe sharpen or correct a face or something, that's all you have to do. Or you can hit autopilot, whatever you wish to do. But now with the way they're kind of layering things, you can do multiple ones at once if you want. This is really cool stuff. Also now, there's all kinds of custom selections. Selections are so important when you're trying to fix or enhance a photo. This has got it all. Now the crop tool has been completely revamped and works so well and quicker than it did before. Great stuff here as well. Lastly, you can drag and drop your GUI to make it the way you want it to be. This is great. Myself, I'd prefer to have it still on the one side, but that's okay. No biggie here. So let's get right to it and dive into it. Let's go. All right, well, I got this great picture of my wife I took a few years ago with an older iPhone. You might think it's not recoverable, but let's find out. It's really noisy here, so let's use the new Photo AI 2.4.0. If you want to find out, go to help and about. There it is. All right. First thing I notice about this is we need to add enhancements. So go over to here, and obviously the picture is noisy. So let's remove the noise. I'm going to put it on strong like I always do. And looks like it's removed some good noise. Let's check the selection. It's the whole picture, which is good. It's removed some noise. Fine. Sure is working a lot faster these days, too, this picture. Now, okay, what do I want to do now? Well, let's recover the face. So let's go down to recover faces. Now, this is the only strange part. There's only one face, but it seems to think there are two. That's no biggie, because we'll just go bang and bang. Now, we'll go back to our control. Strength is at 80 as well. And you can select a few other things here, but let's hit done. Now, this is brilliant. I just love it. With the exception of this line that I put under her eye here, I'm not quite sure why it did that, but it sorted out her hair, and her hair looks great here. So I thought, okay, let's sharpen the picture up just a bit. I'm not too worried about the background because I'm going to blur that out when I, once I get to Photoshop anyway. So add an enhancement. Sharpen. Now, I'm going to do lens blur because it was pretty bad. So let's sharpen it up. And it's great. I love what it's doing to its, her hair and everything else. Now, this, let's check the selection. And it's not picking exactly what I want. So let's do that then. Let's go down here to add remove. And it's got a regular brush. You can, you know, you can do all kinds of things. Subject, background, portrait, landscape, sky, or mm -hmm. none at all and just make your own selection. But I just want to add to this selection. So my brush is just going to be a standard brush so I can color. I don't need super pixel or object selection at the moment. So let's just grab it and just color it in. It's smooth. It's easy to use. I don't know if it's me or not, but it's never been this easy to make this kind of selection. And when you let go, it automatically feathers it. Let's grab these little hairs here. A few little hairs here. The top. And a few hairs here. All right, that looks good. So let's go back to controls. And done. So now it goes through all of them. And I love how they put everything in order the way you want it to be, almost like layers. And I just love what it's done to her. This picture was originally unrecoverable, but look what it's done to the hair, even the fine ones. Brilliant stuff. Obviously, this is not coming in, but I can fix that later in Photoshop as well. This is always a brilliant start. 
to getting a picture done. Now, I wanted to use the remove tool for that line under her eye. So let's go, add enhancement, remove. Now, it says generative AI output will change each time it's processed. And let's find out what's going on here. Now, let's use our brush. First, we'll zoom in. And it's going to do its thing again. Let's adjust our brush with the bracket keys to just kind of cover this right here. Let's see what's going on here. And we'll hit remove. It'll do its thing. Let's hit. All right. But it didn't remove it. That's the only thing I can see at the moment. What's going on? Why didn't it remove it? Yet I colored it in. So I'm going to do an undo and just check. Make sure the remove tool is working. I'm going to go back here with a bracket key, make my brush a little bit larger. You can see this pillow and stuff in the background. I just want to see if the remove tool is going to work. And let's just see if we can get rid of this buckle and stuff here. Remove. So now the remove tool did work on the pillow in the back. It removed that buckle, but it's still not up to snuff. That's okay. We got amazing remove stuff in Photoshop these days. So I'm going to hit undo. I'm going to hit done. We don't need the remove tool. Now the cool thing is let's wait till it initializes again. Let's remove it. We don't need it. Very cool. Okay, let's zoom out. Now, as you can see, it's cleared up even the noise in the background, which is kind of cool because I'm going to be needing that anyway. So what I'd like to try one more time now is I'm going to add another enhancement. I'm going to add sharpen again, except this time the selection I'm going to make, I'm going to say none and make my own, which is the hair down here. Let's just see what it does. You never know what might happen. If it doesn't do it, that's cool. I got other things I can use. So now let's go to the controls and let's go strong. No, didn't quite pick it up. Lens blur, that's not picking up the hair. Motion blur, nope, not picking up the hair, but that's okay. So let's hit done. I don't want the that sharpen I just used. Bang, it's gone. Now, if I want to upscale the picture, I can. I don't need to on this one, but let's use our space bar. Before, after, before, after. I love what it's done to recover this picture with the new Photo AI. All right, now in this picture here, this picture isn't necessarily noisy, but I want to see if I can enhance what's going on with just this one flower. Now that we can make separate selections, let's just do that. So let's go add enhancement, sharpen. Let's leave it on lens blur and go to selection. Now it's picking pretty much exactly what I wanted, but not quite. So let's go remove, grab our brush. And let's just get rid of what we don't want sharpened. Making a custom selection. Now, if you've messed up like I have, let's go to the Add section and just put it back exactly what we want. Very cool. Now, I wanted to grab this stick as well, but now on second thought, no. Let's get rid of it. All right, it's got the leaves and it's got the flower. Now, let's go back to controls. I'm going to hit lens blur. And actually, I'm going to go to motion blur. I could have moved during the shot. So it's sharpening. Done. Let's zoom in. Bring it down a bit. Before, after. All the stuff right around here. It's just crystal clear. I love it. Before, after. Let's look at the leaves. 
even the edges and everything. It's Some people might think it's a halo, but that could be just the light. Before, and it's still there after. But it's brilliantly brought into focus. I love this. All right, there's the good sharpen. That's all I wanted to do to this. Nothing else. Great stuff. Now, in picking and choosing what we want to fix, in this picture, it's the dreaded concert picture. If you've ever been at a concert or a pub or something and you want to take a picture of your buddies, you're always going to run into color casts and etc. Let's see how we can enhance this. First, it's not really necessarily too noisy, but I want to adjust the lighting. So let's hit adjust lighting. And 25 is a bit much. So the cool thing is you can do what you want. So let's make it 10. Before, after. It's starting to get good. Okay, now let's remove the color cast. So let's go to balance color. I have it set up that it's going to be 50-50. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the opacity. I'm going to make it 75. Done. Very cool. Her hair color is starting to come back. That magenta color cast is pretty much gone. And skin tone is starting to come back in all the girls. I'm digging it. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that their faces are coming through nice. So let's go to Add Enhancement, Recover Faces. Now, there's more than what we want. So, which is really cool, you can just grab the ones we don't want and click on them. They're not the focus of the pick. So let's hit Done and let it do its thing. Before, after. This pick is starting to take off. I'm digging it. Now, the last thing, if you want to add on top of it, let's sharpen the girls up a bit. So again, add enhancement, sharpen. Now, the first thing I want to do, though, is I want to check the selection. Yeah, and it's all over the place. So, nah. Now, as far as the GUI goes, look at this. Let's move it out of the way for a second. As far as the selection goes, Let's remove a few things. Get our brush. Let's move this dude. Person in the back. Feathers it out nice. This person here. Make our brush smaller so we can get a little more accurate. Now the cool thing is, let's hit add and just put back what I messed up here. That looks good. All right. Remove. We don't need this girl in here. I love the, how smooth this new brush is. All right. Now, let's check things over. Brush a little bit larger. As you can see, her dress isn't chosen. Let's grab that. Watch. Some jewelry. Her shoulder. This is the cool thing about selections. You can do exactly what you want. What I want, too, are her sunglasses in there. Just like this girl. Now, let's grab the flags. Anything that is them. Let's do it. All right. Looks like the mask is exactly the way I want it. So let's go done. And it sharpened it brilliantly. Look at the sunglasses. They're very cool. The jewelry, everything. But the cool thing is you can go back into sharpen. And let's make sure that everything's exactly how we want it as well. So this all looks good. You can adjust your feathering just in case if it's not if it's doing it too much. Of course, your brush type, you have your three brushes, super pixel, standard, and object selection. I should do a video on the brush types. They're pretty cool. So let's hit done. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. Before I even take this into Photoshop to finish it off here. Before, after. Before, after. Photo AI is the best out there for let's recovering pictures you didn't think could be recovered i'm digging it 
So there you go, man, all kinds of different options for you to work with Topaz Labs Photo AI. How do you not have this program in your toolbox? Check out my affiliate link in the description. I'm Don from Photo911. Like and subscribe. Yeah, I won't break a nail. See ya.